Today we're going to be using not polished acrylics and we're going to use these lovely iridescent Aztec stickers. So the first thing I'm going to come in with is not polished sugar high and I'm going to do two nails of this. I'm going to do both the ring finger and the pointer finger. I'm going to do a full nail. So what I do is I bring in that bead tuck it in around that cuticle area nice and neat pull down the sides then just pull down the front of that bead these are strength powders so i do not need to cap these hence why i'm actually pulling down the front of that bead and not all of it i'm going to come in with a second bead now pop that on wipe my brush Then manoeuvre that into shape, feather it back and then pull it down using the belly of my brush down that nail. Like I said then what I'm going to do is repeat that and do it on the pointer finger. Now, as you can see, this is a beautiful, shimmery, baby pink. And this is where I'm going to be putting those iridescent stickers a little bit later on. But I just thought it would be a lovely background. As you can see, I'm doing exactly the same. I'm using the Ink London Size 8 brush today. I do like to use this one with this practice hand because um, Red iguana has got really small fingers, really small nail beds, it's uh, really thin. Whereas the flexi hand's quite a wide one so I could like go up to, you know, a big 10 if you like, because all brushes are all different. But I do love the London brushes. So here I am feathering that back making sure it's nice and neat and making sure I'm perfectly happy with the application there that I've got my strength where I should have it keep those sides and then the less filing I need to do later then what I'm doing is coming in with milky white on the dinky pinky here and then I'm just going to put that as a background cover because I am going to come in with night out which is a beautiful iridescent glitter acrylic I'm really sorry if you can hear those kids outside they're playing on the street and uh, I'm running a bath so I thought I'll come upstairs and I'll lie on the bed and I'll voice over one of these videos while my bath's running as you do and oh my god the kids on the street are so bloody noisy shouldn't they be in bed or something I mean you know it's like eight o'clock at night <laughs> Anyway, right, okay, so I do apologise, that's not my sproglets that you can hear, it's uh, it's the kiddlywinks out on the street. So I'm coming in with that night out and I'm going to, a uh, couple of beads, you'll see me pop it on uh, to the side. I always do that um, when I'm working in a small area, so obviously these are stilettos, so it's the tip area there. You don't always have to go front on with your brush, which is obviously the widest bit. Okay, so now I'm coming in with light sand from Not Polish. And I'm going to use this as my cover powder. And it's going to go just at the cuticle area because I am going to come in with an ombre with Dream Seduction, which is a beautiful pink. So after putting light sand down at that cuticle area, tucking it in and pulling that down, I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, right, how much further do I want to come down? So I'm going in with small bead and you'll see me pull it down and blend it back. And I'm like, right, okay, one more, that'll do it. So I wasn't quite sure how far down I wanted to come. But you'll see there's just small wet beads just to feather that down. I let that set up 
and then I'm coming in with that dream seduction and I'm going to ombre that at the top then guys what I will do once I'm happy with that ombre is I will fully encapsulate in clear this one and the little finger file and shape all the nails off camera and then we can move on to the nail art So here are the Aztec iridescent stickers. They come in a pack of 12 or 16. I've had them ages. Um, I think they might have been in a AliExpress haul that I had uh, back in November. So, and I thought to myself, I haven't used them. So this set was actually designed around these Aztec stickers. Uh, there's two different shapes. So I put one on this finger, one on the ring finger pop them where I want them they're iridescent so as they hit the light they pick up all the different colors in and around so ugly duckling stick it is a jewelry gel and what I'm going to do is pop that down on both fingers but I think I only show you this one but I do pop them on both put a little bit where I want it then I come in with an old gel brush with a little bit of gel cleanse on and what I'm going to do is put it exactly where I want to put the gems smooth out those edges and then go in with um top coat non-white top coat i will put the big gems into that jewelry gel i push them into that gel and what it will do is come up and around the the actual gems and cushion it within that gel i got asked recently why i go over it with top coat the reason for that is the jewelry gel has a sticky finish by putting a non-white top coat over the top if you move your gems around you know before you fully cured it and it does disrupt that even layer then you can go back in with that old gel brush with a little bit of gel cleanse just smooth it back out you can do anything you want with it right up until you put it in the lamp then it's fully cured and with the non-white top coat your nails finished lovely finished no tacky layer you've not got to go in with a detailer brush in and around those gems or anything like that it's double secure because the jewelry gel is cushioning that uh, those gems so you'll see me pop these gems on i will go in and put some little ones on some little fillers but i've just left these on for now once i'm happy and i've finished nudging them around and i'm perfectly happy with that full cure in the lamp that's them two nails done boom moving on we have the dinky finger and here is those gorgeous night out acrylic glitter from not polish i love that isn't it gorgeous so guys i will pop this in the lamp for a full cure then i have a palette of pastel pigments i will take the pink out of that tray of pastel pigments and rub it into the pink on the very tip of this middle finger over that non-white top coat that's fully cured then what I will do is top coat that again pop it in the lamp for a full cure and then these nails are finished guys we're coming towards the end of the video today if you've enjoyed this little nail play would you take a moment and hit that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already I would absolutely love it if you would as always, everything used today will be listed below in the description box. Any questions, pop it in the comments. Stay safe, guys, and until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.